Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new, my name is Tanya Milbro. I am a Sensi consultant and I live in Woodenville, Washington. Uh, today we are going to talk about the scent of the month for November. In case you hadn't heard from, I did a previous video where I did a little scent review on um, some of the testers that we got as consultants and they gave us testers for the scent of the month for the upcoming months and I already kind of did a scent review on it but I feel like I need to do another one because I have since sniffed the whole bar, not just the tiny tester, and I have warmed it. Um, so I have a, a better opinion, I think, a more full opinion on it now. So we are doing the scent of the month for November, which is Jeweled Pomegranate. All right, so this is both a cold and a warm review for you guys. Um, I will say that when I first sniffed the tester, I was not impressed. I was not impressed with walnut raisin muffin or jeweled pomegranate. Um, they just seemed way too light, didn't really smell like much of anything. I just, just wasn't impressed. They weren't bad, but they didn't wow me. I'm a fan, definitely a fan of this one now. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to come back on and, and kind of re-review it for you. Um, so jeweled pomegranate, per Scentsy, shimmering pomegranate sparkles with sugared mandarin and a twinkle of cinnamon. It's in the fruity family. So first got it, um, not a huge fan of getting the huge brick. Uh, other consultants out there, you'll know, uh, for the scent of the month lately, we've been getting a brick and three bars instead of nine bars. Um, not a huge fan of that, but not too shabby for this one because I broke the brick up to sample out and the rest of the brick I'm gonna keep and I really like it. So that, that worked out this time. Um, jeweled pomegranate. is when I sniff it cold, it still seems light. I said that before, that's one of the reasons I didn't love it, was it's not a in-your-face scent. And those of you who watch my videos know, I like when you walk in the room, I want the smell to hit you in the face. I want it to be really strong. So I, I really love nice, strong scents. I'm not an aloe water and cucumber kind of girl. I like things really strong. And that's one of the things I wasn't loving about this but sniffing the whole brick instead of just a little tester is already stronger. And it is a beautiful combination of the three things that Sensi describes. You definitely get that fruitiness from the pomegranate and mandarin. I'm not a huge citrus person. My husband loves citrus. I don't love it. Um, there's just enough. It doesn't smell citrusy. It just smells fruity. And when they say a twinkle of cinnamon, that's one of the things I love about this. There is just enough cinnamon in here to make this smell like holidays and not so much like cinnamon bear. It's not strong or hot cinnamon. It's just a tiny bit. This to me, if you could put it, I know this sounds stupid, but if I was gonna put it into words, it smells like joy. It smells like holiday joy. It smells like Christmas. It smells like, you should be wandering around your house with your fuzzy slippers on and baking, and it just smells relaxing and joyful is what it smells like. I really like it. It is, I wanna say, almost like the perfect general holiday scent. Um, it's so nice. It, and so warmed, it is this, everything I've said, but amplified. Um, it is a little stronger. I still wouldn't consider it a strong scent. I would say moderate. It doesn't fill my house up. But when I wandered in the kitchen, I only put it in the, in the one kitchen in, uh, warmer this morning from when I was doing samples last night. And when I wandered in the kitchen this morning, it was the first thing I noticed. So it wasn't hit you in the face, but you notice it. And it's just pleasant. It's pleasant and happy and smells like holidays. So there you go. Um, if you like, what would I? <sighs> Very Merry Cranberry. I would say similar to that. It not in that it smells like cranberry, but that it's that kind of medium strength, general holiday, happy smell. So if you like smells like that, this will be right up your alley. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know because I really wasn't impressed at first. And now that I've sniffed the whole bar and warmed it, it really does make a difference. So some of those scents that you're not on too sure about, you're on the fence, you're like, oh, I don't know if I love it. Ask your consultant for a sample that you can warm. 
throw, even if it's a felt sample, you can put that in a warmer and at least smell it warmed up. It really does make a difference, you guys. So jeweled pomegranate is a winner for me. I will be using the rest of the brick myself. Um, if you are into scents like that, get with your consultant, get a sample, you will like this one, okay? And then really quick, I'll let you have a little sneak peek of the warmer of the month for November because it's just super cute. It is called Country Christmas, and it's just a cute little red barn warmer with Christmas lights. It's got snow on the top. It's really cute. So anyway, there's your sneak peek at that. That's what I have for you tonight, guys. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you want to hear more scent reviews and unboxings and stuff like that. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.